The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 134, Nasdaq up 56, S&P's up 16, Gold contract down three dollars and ninety cents at twelve eighty one an ounce. Get silver down eight cents, fourteen dollars fifty three cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up thirty three cents, fifty eight dollars twenty four cents. How about that light sweet crude yesterday, right? Yeah, five dollars. And even this morning, I'm not sure if you helped, heard the update. It was almost at fifty nine bucks, and then it dropped a dollar in the span of about a half hour. Look at that thing. Um, you talk about oof. wide price spread. We did over a million contracts in the oil market, folks, which is so unusual. Yeah. 1.1 million contracts. That's a lot of contracts. Just like a $4 bar is unusual, right? Big time. Of, yeah. Big time. You got, and notes and bonds, just the other way. Notes and bonds, folks, uh, bottom line, broke topside, uh, had the volume behind the move. These things uh, uh, look to me like they're not only going higher, I suspect we're going to go a lot higher. Uh, right now, you're down 10 ticks in the 10-year, uh, and if we take a look at this, what you're going to see, come on, baby, there we go. You're going to see how you busted top side. We did 313,000, no, one, three, 3 million contracts. Oh, my God. 3.1 million contracts. And, and that's really unusual. We blew away the high of that 124.31. Um, we got to, uh, yeah, 125. 125 flat. 125.07. Um, bottom line is that, uh, you know, you talk about rates, 2.3, I believe we're at this morning, 2.33. And the shifts were basically everywhere because then we also had gold. Well, gold got a, caught a bid. Gold's at 1281 and King Dollar. King Dollar failed at its high. It's just so wild that it makes it all the way up there, spikes that high, gets to a price point up here of the uh, 50, no, 90, 98, 260, 98085 was the number. And guess what? Now we'll see uh, how it handles it. But. I suspect what we're going to see out here is that you're going to have good old King Dollar try to make its way back down to the 94 area. The real question is going to be uh, each and every time that you start going down to King Dollar too, the volume is dried up. So we'll see where that shakes out. What we did get last night or yesterday when King Dollar was doing that is that we had the euro reject lower price and uh, you know the pound the story is still out. So now you know Theresa May. Um, yeah. And, and it, did she resign today, or is it a, a different date? Let's see. You know, I'm not sure. Let's I just uh, kind of saw the headlines as yeah. well. So, let's see. Boris Johnson, top contender. No, we'll, we'll find out. The bottom line is that uh, now they're going to have someone else to beat up on, though. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> no, I, I think they're just, they're, they're, they're June 7th. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. So, June 7th. So yeah. That's next week, right? Yeah. And, I, you know. I don't, I don't think she's been the best leader, obviously, as in things, you know, haven't happened, but the blame doesn't fully fall on her either. Exactly. Right, right. I mean, they get, yeah. And you'll, you'll find out when the next person comes yeah, in and exactly. they get nothing done also. Exactly. Foot Locker, this guy, this guy taken to the clean is in a big way. That's that's a pretty heavy number. Doesn't get much heavier. Right. And if you look at, watch, if you look at this, what, what you have here, folks, this is like a classic, meaning it come down hard going all the way back to uh is that 2017 yeah may of 17 so 77 bucks monster volume all the way down into this uh, area of uh, 31 dollars makes a low at 28 does a retracement all the way back up man it's always a mind blower like how far they can do retracements and then just blow away again so let's see what they have to say oh, might have been Okay. Yep. So, comp sales. Well, they were looking for comp sales at 5.5%. They got 4.6. Not that bad. Uh, um, yeah. Missed by a whole percent, right? I mean, that's... The earnings per um, share, 160. Estimate, 153. There must be something worse in here than this. I agree. I agree. Uh, but a 1% miss on comp sales is a, it's a decent miss. I mean, that's, uh, that's a big number, probably, when you look at every single store that they have. They have tons of store, right? It's like... Um, yeah. 
giving it a beating. There's no doubt about that, man. iPhone numbers. And eight. there, that's just a finish. That's a comparable sales, a key metric in retail. That's the, what they emphasize. So it might just be uh, piling on that. You know, maybe they had some optimism that that. Uh, but man, twenty percent. I agree. It must be. <laughs> they must have been just waiting for a reason to sell that stock, totally. man, for twenty percent. Totally. Let's go take a look at the GDX out here. So, the GDX folks. Um, yesterday, what we had is this. You start moving higher yesterday, and did have an expansion of volume. So, I like how that's set up. Uh, bottom line, though, needs it needs a sign of strength. That's. You know, that push yesterday is a good indication, but then it gave it up on price. Uh, if we <coughs> take a look at uh, Platinum, let's see, Platinum, active contract, where are we? Plat there it is. Okay, so July. Did this. This is having a hard time, too. Yeah, you know... Platinum, we're down off this 9.15. You didn't break your swing low out here. The swing low we're talking about 7.86. This needs a sign of strength, too. That's the real bottom line. I mean, it's set up that, yeah, it should go higher. Uh, but you definitely want to see a sign of strength. That's that's how this baby's set up. And it's, it's got to be predicated on that U.S. dollar. Uh, and we're not going to get much information out of that today. Because what you're going to have out here today, folks, I expect, you know, you're going to get this market will stay slightly higher. The volume's going to die in the vine and uh, get set up for next week. And, uh, you know, my take is that the, these are much larger ABC structures on the way down. You know, um, the IWM just missed doing an ABC structure on the way down. Um, we did uh, 26.3 million versus 26.9. So if it did another 600,000, it would have been going to confirm ABC down. But you can see that, guess what? That IWM, I suspect it's going to be making its way down to this uh, 132. And, uh, of course, the XLE with the oil going south, that thing got blown apart. Definitely. You know, that, that came down. We did uh, 23, mil 20, 23 million shares. And that, that is a swing point of 14. And what's sticking out like a sore thumb there is also the lows. 57 is the high of that low. 53 is the low. But... It looks to me like this is just, this whole market is setting up for that uh, December 24th uh, retest. And it's real possible that on the larger basis, SPX, what we have happening, and it's going to be pretty cool if this is what's happening, because it won't be the end of the world, but it'll be some great trading for a year or so, is that it's possible that we have this huge consolidation. The bottom of it being in the lows of uh, December, the top of it being where we are now. Now, that's a 22% consolidation. Yeah, it's huge. And if you bring this back, though, what you're going to see is that's, you know, we go, was that 2014, right? We did that 2014 all the way over to 2016. Yeah. You know, and that, let's see. So that consolidation was, uh, is that 2100? Yeah, 2087. Or 2134. What's the bottom? 18. Yeah, so That's 350 three. points, yeah. 15 percent, maybe about. Yeah. yeah. So you know. Yeah. It's, it's building cars. Big consolidation. Not bad. Right. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow up 108. Nasdaq up 54. SPs up 15. Come right back. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. 
Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS Order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 116. You get the Nasdaq up 53. S&P's uh, up 15 and a half. And uh, we go over and we take a look at this 30-year uh, bond also. And what you're going to see both, well, all of the treasuries, bonds, notes, they went topside yesterday um, and had big volume behind the move. This, the 30-year, uh, the we did uh, 537,000 contracts. The high it was spiking, taken out was 150.21, and uh, right now you're at 150.28. We got up to this uh, 151. We go over to the TLT, which is the 20-year plus ETF structure. Look at that. <laughs> uh, that's that's quite a launch. So that's uh, 9.7 million. Takes out 9.1. The price 126.69. We're at 127.42, and. Uh, What's going to be intriguing here now, folks, is that I just brought this back, so do it four years. And what you're going to see is that, you know, the top of this range is really like that 129. And if you can take that 129 out, boy, we'll be, uh, that's 2016. Imagine that. Yeah. So you, that's the election to be. It's exactly oh, what right that is. Oh, right there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you take that out, guess what? Then, then game is the high which would be just amazing because when you go the other way and take a look at this, like my take is that, yeah, 2% is going to be coming at us in the 10 year. Now we're 2.33 right now. And the thing that is really wild when you look at this, it's like, okay. So, you know, you can see it makes sense that we'll get down to two because the top of this is 2.6. No, is that two? Yes. Yeah, 2.6. We're 2.3. So we've dug into that. So, you know, you, you have that 2.01 there. And that's the same correlation as the 30. When we're looking at it, this must be 2016 there, too. Yeah, it is. Okay. So you take that out, and guess what? That would be almost uncomprehensible. Yeah, incomprehensible. <laughs> that, yeah. that you get down to 1.3 again. It's a full percent. Yeah. Just literally almost to the penny. Right. Yeah. And when you look at it where we... Uh, now we're almost down a full percent from the yeah October of uh, yeah. last year. Three point two six to two point three three. Yeah, 
there. So that's that's about as intense as you get. Um, Deckers, let's go take a look at Deckers. They evidently came in with good numbers. That's up eight bucks. A bet. Yeah. So and five six percent in the is, positive. This is uh, the shoe company, right? Yeah. Handbags, handwear, outerwear. I guess they make footwear. Let's see what they had to say. I think this might have been like their press release. Okay, so let's get that back a second. It might be just be the top one. Oh, well, there are the numbers. So yeah. well, the estimate was. Uh, oh, look at that. Well, the estimate was nine cents. And they made eighty-five. Yes. Uh, sa sales estimate was three hundred seventy-eight million. They made three ninety-four. Whatever they brought to the bottom line, evidently that was maybe a one-time deal. But anyway, it's a big number. Margin, fifty uh, percent. Pretty bad. much in line with what they're, yeah. what they're looking for. Yeah, I'd say that earnings. They like that earnings number. No doubt. Earnings per share. And then uh, just the opposite is going to be Autodesk. Now this is this I think this is at highs though it's close to highs. It's down yeah. ten bucks right now. High was one seventy eight. It's down yeah. ten. So it was at one sixty eight, one sixty nine before that. Right. Yeah. And uh, so they're, they're bringing this baby down. So let's see what they have to say. So that estimate was forty five cents. They made forty five uh, revenue. I think the estimate was forty seven, right? So Mr. Bay, where? Are you at? No, okay, it's all over. Yeah. The. Revenue seven hundred forty million. They did seven thirty-five. Not that bad, really. But guess what? This market is uh, wants perfection right now, and they're just taking these babies and taking themselves very quickly. No doubt about that. Uh, let's go over to Apple and take a look at Apple. So, what you're going to be able to get today, folks, is that you know, I suspect most of these stocks are going to. Bounce. And if they bounce on this light volume, all that is is setting up more pain next week, you know, because you, you, the correlation is that, uh, you know, Apple broke down pretty good, didn't do an ABC structure down, took out the B point, took it out with 29 million versus uh, 57. A little expansion of volume is there, 30, uh, it's at 36, but these things are set up for lower prices. Let's go to the king. Someone out there this morning is saying, I saw it already, yeah, go ahead. Bucks. Without even trying. Yeah. But I, I, I saw the headline. I said, yeah, that makes sense. I, In my head. I said, I yeah, that makes sense. Amazon shares can hit 3,000 mark within the next two to three years. Well, it's a long time. Yeah. About 65% above where the stock's trading, according to analysts at Piper Jaffray. Um, yeah. It's, I mean, if we, if we bring Amazon back. So let's see. So they're saying they're going to take in $275 billion <coughs> this year. Excuse if me. we go back three years, it was $136 billion. Yeah, yeah, remarkable. From from 2018 to 2019, they added 100 billion dollars. I mean, yeah, 100. Uh, 2018 to 2020, they're going to add 100 billion dollars to their yearly take. Um, I mean, a, that's amazing. Yeah, I mean, in 90 days, they went from 50 billion to 70 billion. And you know, I say they went. This is a forecast for 2020, but when you talk about two to three years out, man, staggering numbers, and especially these numbers, man. You don't see earnings per share of 40 dollars. Well, have we, let me see, Walmart. Um, I don't think I've ever seen a company take in a trillion dollars yet. There, there must be someone. A year? I don't think yeah. so. They're, yeah, no. I don't think so. But in a few years from now, the way that this is looking, it would seem like you would. Uh, I, I'd say Amazon's the one with no, it. No, that's what I mean. Yeah, I'm, you know, yeah. You know. I mean, they're at 320 maybe or something, but um, they're growing gangbusters, man. <laughs> and that's... maybe if Walmart gets their e-commerce together, man, you might see some growth there as well. Yeah, great. Yeah. If you're adding $100 billion over two years, it doesn't take long to get to a trillion. Right? I mean, it's just especially as things ramp up. There's, there's, yeah. That's about as intense as you can get. Let's go take a look at the, uh, let's go look at the FTSE and see if that's making any difference. No? It, you're, you're up 56 points. Yesterday, you had an expansion of volume on the way down. Um, yeah, this doesn't say much. It's going to be really interesting to see. Okay, so what is the next move over there? I think there's so many moves happening just about everywhere now that, uh, you know, I'm not sure it's making as 
making the markets move as much as it had. Yeah, yeah. I don't think much changed that much. That's why you didn't. I pulled up the pound chart this morning. Say, oh, I wonder how. And it wasn't that crazy, and right. it's not because I was like, okay, that's not like a game-changing moment. Yeah, right. it, it could have something, but it's not on the forefront. Uh, mm -hmm. Some automatic deal that's going to come with her out. Uh, XAU, um, you know that. Now this is a nice setup. Now what's interesting, folks, that if you're bullish or bearish on the broad market, and you know what you really would like to see today is that you like to see. The market come down and test the lows of yesterday with light volume, because then that is an indication that okay, it can go higher. Now the XAU, the HUI, that's what that is doing, which is pretty cool, because yesterday you pushed higher and you had some volume, but it gave up the price. And you can see the XAU got underneath that low yesterday, and that's going to be light volume. And if we go take a look, as soon as we come back, we'll take a look at the HUI. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up uh, 81. Nasdaq is up 34. S&P is up 11 and a half. And as you come over to our website, folks, at TFNN, this is it. This is a great Memorial Day weekend, and we have the Tiger Dollar Sale. It will end this coming Monday. And the way the Tiger Dollar Sale works is that uh, you get can get up to a 40% bonus. Uh, we do this a few times a year. Uh, you come over, you just hit that uh, Tiger Dollar Sale button, 
And what you're going to see is that Tigerol is a good for all product of TFNN, no expiration date, totally transferable. Uh, if you buy $500 in Tiger Dollars, you get an additional $100 or 20% bonus. You can buy 1000 you get 300 additional or 30% bonus, and you can get 1500 which is the max, which is $600 bonus, $600 bonus, and 40%. If you have product right now at TFNN, you're looking for some of the future, great way of uh, saving some money. And as you're over there, a uh, man, Mr. Dave White, uh, bottom line is that uh, he's updated the time of the trade charts, and that promotion is also going until this coming Monday. That's right. So they can get a free copy of your book, The Art of Time of the Trade Chart, your ultimate trading mastery system, hardcover book. We'll ship that out ASAP to you when you order, and you can save 25%. Um, when you sign up and just enter the promo code book uh, and add that code, and boom, there you go. There you go. So you can always apply your Tiger Dollars too. If you have any questions, purchase those Tiger Dollars as to apply them to your account. It's one step. They're applied to your account. Boom, they're there forever. You don't have to worry about it. Anything you purchase, they'll automatically get used. And, uh, yeah, Friday of the long weekend, man. Get it done. Go enjoy that long weekend. Um, want to play with those charts, man? There's a good time. Uh, play with those charts, right? Uh, yeah, totally. Lock in the Tiger Dollar deal and get it done, and then go enjoy that weekend. And you know, you can expect, folks, that like, this market's gonna, you know, the market's slow right now anyway, but yet you're gonna see this thing slow down dramatically. Yes, it's, you know, because, I would agree. Yeah, <laughs> as everybody, I'm sure. Good. Twelve o'clock, right? I mean, totally. uh, twelve one two. Well, uh, nobody's doing business at four o'clock on Friday, Memorial Day weekend. You no. know, you're not you're not creating sales calls. You're not you're not you're not starting a, a no group meeting. Exactly. Right. There's, there's, um, well, remember when we were in Boston? I mean, remember now? Picture folks like from Boston down to the Cape is only really an hour and fifteen minutes where we used to go. But if you would, if you do this on the weekend, traffic free, right? Oh my God. You're, you're, you're ta Today, you're, you're, you're talking about like three it's hours. probably yeah. already right. uh, miles at the the, yeah. the good old Bourne Bridge, right? Um, the and good old Sagamore and the Bourne Bridge, yeah. um, hitting that rotary traffic, baby. Um, Big time. Yeah. So let's go back over to the uh, gold market for a second. We'll take a look at the gold bugs index, and yeah, see, this is gonna be cool. It's, it's, it's the same kind of little setup. It's Yesterday, what you did is that, you know, you pushed higher. Let's see, 16 million shares. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't bad. And then it gave it up in price, though. You got all the way up to 152, closed at 148.52. You know, now the, today, and this is what you'd like to see, what I'd like to see anyway, I'd like to see it get below it, which is, which is already done. It, we'd already traded down to 14, 147.71, and now you're at 148.30. It's subtle, but bottom line, that's that's what it takes. Uh, let's go to Newmont. Take a look at Newmont. So Newmont's crawling higher. Barrick Gold. This has been having a hard time. Okay, this is good what it did today, then. Okay, so Barrick, that also got below it. You know, yesterday you pushed higher, 13 million, then gave it up in price. Right now, we got down to 12 bucks going to be light volume. It's rejecting lower price. And then if we do this on a weekly, the weekly is going to be a pretty good setup. You, you, you come into this swing here. That swing had, let's see, 49 million shares. The strength had 122. And right now I get 47 million. So the bottom line is that with interest rates, going lower if the dollar fails you know we're close to getting a rally here you know but guess what it seems that inside the metals market they they take longer to get the rally going and then it, they seems to come out of nowhere and when it comes out of nowhere it goes but that's kind of where we're at right now i think you know because it's like the silver the silver market still is the laggard you know i mean look at that that did just about a hundred percent move. Yeah, going all the way back to six months. Let's put this. Actually, put it for a full year. Oh, I know. One second. I got to make this a continuous contract. SI one. So if we take silver, put this on a continuous contract. Bring this back. Now we we'll do two years. Hasn't done a thing. Let me see. Four years. Look at this. You, you, that 20, yeah, 2016. So 
Yeah, we're bouncing along here. You know, the, the positive deal is that 2016, you get a low of $13.60. And just, that's December 15, I think. 15, okay, yeah. that's 15. Uh, then you get 1319, 1386, and 1434. Yeah. So, and that, at least you got a little bit higher. Lows, but you don't have higher highs. <laughs> oh, right, just that yeah, one. Seriously. Yeah. Let's go see what that heckler is doing because heckler, folks, for something happened to this stock, man. It's like, look at this thing. You know, what? I mean, I know they're losing money, but it's like, that's pretty intense. That's, yeah, it's 2008, man. 2008 is 98, 98 cents. And it looks like it's going for it. Yeah. You know? What is that low at uh, 1516 there? I'm yeah. just curious, yeah. 145. Okay, so we're and below we, that. And we broke process, it. Yeah. I know. Yeah, it's like, I mean, what is the problem? <laughs> it's. Yeah, it's something, right? For sure. For 2008, to going out of 2008, yeah, because what happened in 2008 is that once the acceleration started on all assets, I don't, like, say, the, the last seven or eight weeks i don't even think people, people were paying attention to fundamentals it's just sure. that they're just everything was going man. everything was out jumping over to the vix so you'd expect a little positive market but as we say that man the dow's only up 67 points now it's up yeah. over 100 see what happens but the vix still 1570 unless you see some crazy action that vix kind of settling down um and just jumping over against that footlocker man look at that drop off like right away so what time is that and this is where it's always cool on the td ameritrade think or swim charts you yeah. have the earnings number 645 this morning okay you get the conference call at 9 a.m this morning look looks like they were both not that great for uh right and it happens a lot i mean there's a lot that gets covered um just like we go through the numbers right there's analysts that say like i need you know tell me why this number is this right. or something tell me why this number is this why are you guiding down and um right. And sometimes those CEOs, they gotta, they, they gotta. Have the answer. Well, yeah, or they do, and they just have to break it out because public's are gonna find out, right. and you might as well take your beating right now, right? Oh, because yeah. it's, as in, if you know the fiscal year is coming down hard, you better not hide it. You can, yeah. but it's gonna be hell when it right. comes out that day. So they, 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 they. <laughs> and yeah. But and, pretty remarkable, man. You know, seventeen percent, like you're saying, it's just an, quite a haircut overnight. And then we got to go back to, we got to go to Tesla. <laughs> oh, that's what I was, perfect. Yeah, that's what I was, uh, I had in my head to jump to them uh, after that. Perfect. Oh, it's going to be eighth day in a row, I believe. I, I, yesterday, I think, was seven in a row. Tesla's down $3, $192. Not bad, $192. When I, you look at, like, we were just at almost, like, $195 on Monday. You know, the right? first time I was in a Tesla was last night. Okay. They are so fast, and this was the, the fast one. Okay. It's like... Blew my mind. All right. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page.
TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow right now uh, up 59. NASDAQ's up 32. S&P's up 10.5. And, a half. and uh, let's go take a look at this. So this gets interesting. So this story here, folks, uh, Wall Street alumni start pot company that actually makes money. Okay. So let's see what the, a U.S. pot company run by former executives of Goldman Sachs and Bank of America will begin trading in Canada Monday with the market value of Canadian $1 billion, or U.S. $744 million. Um, Air Strategies, is that what? Yeah. yeah, Air. Yeah. Air Strategy, which will trade on Toronto's uh, NEO exchange uh, under the symbol AYR, is the offspring of Canada's first cannabis focused strategic special purpose uh, acquisition company, known as uh, Cannabis Strategies Acquisition Corporation, that was formed in 2017 and recently acquired five pot firms operating in Nevada, Massachusetts. Look at that. Generated more than 100 million Canadian in revenue in 2018. It's a good number. It is. For where we are right now in the industry. No. Yeah. Usually the uh, in the cannabis business uh, areas, business also reported earnings before interest. It's, it's unusually for the... Unusual. Okay, yeah. The earnings in general, yes. Yeah. Uh, earnings before interest, tax, depreciation, amortization. Let's see. 30 million. A company which produces, distributes, and sells the drug, including... From dispensaries, dispensaries yeah. and so just, just to slow it down, it's just unusually for the cannabis industry, they reported earnings before interest taxes, depreciation. That's the real... Um, yeah, because, they really made money. Right. They plan to roll up more pot companies that generate positive uh, EBITDA. So you got one guy who's a former managing director at Goldman, and you got another guy who's uh, a former president at Bank of America. Let's say this. So they're targeting acquisition companies that generate $75 million to $150 million in revenue. <coughs> Excuse me. The goal is to become one of the top five multi-state pot companies within five years. They expect that the top companies will be able to generate 20% more. Uh, and that's the earnings per interest yeah. EBIT. Interesting, man. Yeah. You know, because the it looks like that. The end user, that's where I think you got to be, probably, right? That's what I'm wondering. These companies that they bought, you know, the in Nevada or Massachusetts, is it actually the dispensaries? Do you know what I mean? That, that end yeah. user versus the, you know, like uh, Canopy Growth, they're, they don't have stores, they sell sure. to everyone else, sure. right? Yeah. It's going to be it's pretty wild. Watch, yeah. So let me look at Canopy for a second. So Canopy is running at, yeah, it's still high, man, 44 bucks. And they're expecting, look at that, well, they expect a $94 million this quarter. Yeah, I mean, what's remarkable, though, is for 2018, which is what the numbers we were just looking at for air, they took in $80 million, and you got Canopy, it's valued at $15 billion. Um, you have their company right. that took in $100 million and is valued at $1 billion or $700 million almost, but obviously a million different factors in play in terms of the ramp up. 
I mean, that's pretty staggering in terms of 2020. Look at that jump from 200 million to almost a billion dollars in revenue, 800 million in 2020. That's going to be amazing if they can pull that off. Yeah. The I, thing that's amazing, so, so watch this, folks. There's 231 million they're looking to do this year. Next year, 815 million. But they're still, they're going from $1.52 loss in 2019. They're staying, even with 850 million, they're going to lose 43 cents. Yeah. Hey, they probably have a lot of capital expenditure to push out, you know, in terms of their right. at the beginning stages of growth right. of, of right. building, of infrastructure, of stores, of more grow farms. I mean, everything, I'm sure. Yeah. If you're in that industry, right, it's almost like you could just keep spending in, in a good way, kind of, you know, oh, of, yeah. of being like, no, no, we need more. We need more. Just kind of in the early Amazon days, like, no, 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 we're going to keep spending. It's going to come. And the cannabis, it's, it's for sure. And if we go, we go to the Dow, look at the uh, strength versus the weakness inside the Dow, because the Dow is giving it up by somewhat here. Well, look at that. So Boeing's putting the bulk of uh, the points in the Dow. The Dow's up 62. Boeing's putting 47. You get yep. J.P. Morgan, 6. Visa, 6. Taken away from it. Home Depot, minus 8. Johnson Johnson, minus 4. Inside the NDX 100. Excuse me, folks. Strength versus weakness. You get Intuit. Oh, they come out with numbers, too. So we'll go over those. Intuit's up 5.7%. Workday's up 2.5. Ricardo Libre up 2.3. Uh, on the negative, Autodesk down six, uh, Ross stores off two, C Trip down two, NetEase down two. So let's go up to Intuit for a second. So, so the low for the year is 182, the high is 282. Their revenue, they were expecting 3.23 billion. They did 3.3. Earnings per share, 540. They did 555. These companies are wild, aren't they? I mean, you know, when you, when you look at some of these numbers, it's like. Yeah, $66 billion company that's taken in about $6 billion a year and putting six bucks to the bottom line. Not bad. Yeah, and the, the, the shift. The, so you get small business and self employed, 3, 3 billion. Consumer, 2.5. Yeah. I wonder that. I wonder if we must be in the small business part because you get, you know, we get this on, but you use it by subscription. You know, uh, I don't know. I'm not familiar with it at all. Yeah, um, so it's a, just accounting software. Okay. But it's just like you know, we we have a Microsoft one. We have okay. one. Of the, Natalie has one of these cool. too. Cool. Cool. But it's 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 well worth it. Do you know yes. what I mean? Yeah. It's very inexpensive, but boy, it adds up to three billion dollars. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, yeah. Pretty wild. Yeah. 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at those cues. And the, yeah, you're going to get a you're pop out here today, 8 million shares. You know, down yesterday with uh, 45. Um, Boeing, let's go take a look at Boeing. And then what are they doing up? So that's up 7 bucks. They bo in order for Boeing to get any traction, it's got to be above 365. That's how it broke down. This is like a classic. This is a Bud Rolfs classic. I watched this. This is pretty cool. So he'd go like this. Where are you? There we are. So we put that there. And that would be his horizontal. You know, he broke, broke down, coming back up, expected to test with lighter volume. You know, well, if it did, that's, yeah. that's a classic. Man. And then, see ya. Yeah. Don't want to be ya. How about Bitcoin? And we're back oh, above yeah. 8,000. We've had some volatility over there, up about. 200 bucks or 180 bucks today, I think. Yeah, 157. Look at that, man. Um, some chop up there, man. I bet, I bet the Bitcoin people love like long weekends like this, right? Oh, like, sure. Yeah. You know, because there has to be some good action, especially coming in like this. And these bars are just mammoth, man. That's an $1,100 bar. Yep. That's a $700 bar every day. That's a $600 bar. That's a $700 bar. This one, what do we got here? $1,300 bar. Just amazing, man. Yeah. Yeah. It looks, I, I would say that, don't be surprised, folks, if we when we come back Tuesday morning, this thing's at $10,000. Yeah, you know? or $6,000. Because, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Your, your next leg is at 9700 so it's like, you know what, you're right next to that. And you can see when you have this laid out, you know, this is on a weekly right now, that it's like sticking out like a sore thumb, 9700 It's like, hey, why not? Sure. And the next leg there is after that's 11600 Amazing. Don't forget about Tiger Dollars, folks. Uh, we've got them open all this weekend. 
Market wise, right now you get the Dow up 41, NASDAQ up 15, SP's up 8. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by sign up today since 1984 basil chapman has been using the chapman wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion while originally hand drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply later basil found that computer software which included the standard market technical indicators enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns as well as market trend calls thus was born the chapman wave sequence using the chapman wave methodology along with other indicators basil chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter right now you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call basil's daily trading newsletter by visiting the front page of tfnn.com can't at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, I guess as uh, people are packing it in, they're packing it a little bit early here. They sell in first before they go they're, away for the weekend? They're selling uh, right now before they're going away, no doubt. You get the Dow right now, folks, uh, up uh, 17. NASDAQ is up 11. S&Ps are uh, up 4. So let's go over and take a look at those S&Ps. So what's going to get intriguing here, too, folks, is that, as I said you know, a little bit earlier, oh, we're not close to the lows, though. That, you know, if you are bullish this market, this is what you'd like to see. You'd like to see the S&P actually get under the low of yesterday, uh, which is 28.05. I don't see okay. it, but, you know, then, you know, the light volume is kind of, you know, it's like, okay, man, you know, it's, if it tests it and reject it, then it's like, okay. It's hey, not we're almost, I was just going to say, we're almost 20 points off the high right now, and that's only about 20 points from where we are yeah. currently, so it's it's possible. Oh, it's, that's, it's, it's not even 11 o'clock, man, right? We got pretty remarkable. That, see, it feels like it's about to be the closing bell. Not really, right? But you got five hours of trading left. So you do. That's you a do. Lot, lot of time. And if we go take a look at the um, NQs, you got kind of the same setup inside the NQs. Uh, you know, they, the retracement was nothing. Uh, but what you do have up here, yeah, this this thing's not going to get to its lows. But hey, we'll see how, we'll see how it shakes out. And now that we're uh, 60 points off that high, man. Yeah. Oof. 
And uh, is, is it Boeing that's giving it up? Let's see. It, 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 uh, Boeing, uh, Boeing's positive today, I think, right? Oh, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. For, oh, okay, okay, I got you. Know you I got I mean? you, yeah. come back that quick. Yes, it's like, yes. You know, yeah, 361. Yeah, it's yeah, 5 bucks. Know. It was up 11. Yeah. It's now in sub 6. Yeah. So the... Let's see the you know and what we did have yesterday too by the way folks is that you did get an expansion of volume in all the indices okay yesterday we did 920 inside the NYSE and you take a look at the Nasdaq composite we did 2.2 so yeah. stay right there folks we got fast market coming up next and we get our man Mr. Uh, Basil Chapman Steve Rhodes uh, I'll be back this afternoon thanks pal thanks man go get him folks.